Hello for the Paganini Caprice. Um, I'm practicing up bow staccato um, with um, a two octave scale in A going down and uh, I practice this in uh, three steps. The first two only on the empty strings. First one is, um, I mean, eventually I want to have a flying staccato. So I start it with on the string staccato. Okay, so I did that a few times already, so <laughs> I'm just demonstrating for um, a video. Then the next step is um, with a collet to catch the string for each one. Yeah, so the sound quality on the G string. Yeah, okay, that was good. And then um, I catch the first one and then just uh, get off the string and not, not do that deliberate collie anymore. So I don't want to move to the frog um, too, uh, too much or to move to a different part of the bow because there's was just a single down bow and then all the up bows. So. so of course this uh, large jump from the G to the E string is something to practice separately, but um
so I'm applying uh, the idea that I've shared before and that is now coming up in the Violinics uh, how to practice this piccato by uh, doing So that's Nathan Cole's idea to um, play detaché without uh, any accents, so quite soft. So this wasn't even. And then don't change the ball parameters, but uh, just get off the string for spiccato. And then I thought. Um, I tried it first just to do the up bows, but uh, that didn't work too well, so I, I slowed it down. Um, I did only every second one, so like if this is... I'm only doing the up bows and kind of skip the down bows, and this seems to work. I hope that this will transfer to making it faster, that I'm not doing something that only works in slow tempo, <laughs> that's always a possibility of course. Maybe I could uh, just um, try to do like bursts, like two at least, two fast that follow each other. <laughs> I chickened out to do it on the DNG string also, but <laughs> I want to end this on a success. So that was nice. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.